Okay, this is going to be my review of a very interesting game called Ice Station Z. I bought this around Christmas time last year. And I was basically hooked on it for about a week or two until the, there are certain things to it that just started getting to me and I took a break and that's basically how it's been since then, on and off breaks. No way would I play for this, you know, this game for a week straight anymore after that crap got to me. And right now, as you can see in chat there, everybody left and that guy just left too. And let me show you here. And, um... Two people. My name is currently Sunny Day. As I change it all the time, so if you see me, this probably won't matter if you see this video a really long time from now, but that's my current name at the time of filming. And now it's just me and one other person. Believe it or not, like a couple minutes ago, this server was basically packed. And then some people left, and then they just died. Probably about ten minutes ago, it was packed. And with how many people I have on my blacklist on this game, my blacklist is gets completely full. It can have a hundred people on it, and mine has a hundred. Originally, this video was actually going to be a lot of me just screwing. That's basically the reason I play this game, is to screw around with people and see what they'll do and snipe people. And basically, that's what this video is going to be because this was a packed server and there was actually people talking using voice chat, which isn't very common. And I actually managed with all the people on my blacklist and all the people that have blacklisted me, I managed to get into a packed server. But the server just died, which is kind of what pisses me off about this game, too, is all of a sudden, it's kind of like a monkey see, monkey do thing. One, And that happens on other games, too, such as Battle Miner Z, which I posted a video for recently, where one person leaves, and the people see in chat that they left, and then they'll leave, too, and then people see that, and they'll leave, and it's just like a constant chain of people leaving. So anyway, this game, you know... Don't really have to go into the specifics. There's plenty of videos. You know, you got your stuff here and stuff. I'm not really going to go into specifics about the game functions and stuff because there's plenty of other people that have covered that. I'm just going to leave this server. But basically, there's a glitch you can do if you don't click, you know, start and go to your options and you just leave the server by pressing home on your 3DS and then closing the software it basically you can leave without saving and you even if you die and stuff it won't save so you basically once you rejoin the server and everything rejoin the game you stay exactly where you was you got all your inventory you know you you never died and that's what I do and that's what so many other people do it's an exploit that you know you can't really fix that you can't prevent people from doing that go to multiplayer here and also I get random communication errors on both Battle Miner Z and this game I don't think it's my internet but let me look for a server can I get into this one wow it's actually letting me into a server with six out of eight people in it been having a lot of trouble getting into servers with all the people on my blacklist and such as I said before but people are talking actually But yeah, that's the only reason I play this game. So basically, I bought it, and I thought, wham, well, this is really... I think it's like... Well, at the time I bought it, it was like four or five bucks on uh, Nintendo eShop. Which, you know, for that amount of money, I had my eye on it for a really long time. But just never got around to buying it until then. Like I said, December last year, around Christmas. And, um... So basically, I bought it. I, I binge played it just constantly for about a week. It was so the fact that you, what you could do in this game for that much amount of money, you'd expect you know you wouldn't expect much. But this game actually gives you quite a bit. Of course, there's a lot of downsides to it. It's not super high quality. I mean, look at the the character model. It's just like a I saw in another review. He called it like a poly hedron form or something like that because you can basically tell there's a if you look at the character closely you can just tell it's a bunch of it isn't actually a smooth you know there's seams and crap and it's like creases and it's it's not very super well done but for the money you know can you complain 
And the answer to that is probably yes, actually, because there's a lot of things wrong with this game. This, the main thing is packer prevention, which I'm sure you can do some stuff to prevent that. And that's the main problem I have with this game that burned me out on it, is hackers. Blacklisting is also, if you don't know what that is, you have this list. I guess I've shown it to you here. Here's my list. Tap an ID to remove it from your blacklist. These are basically... Oh, no, no, no. These are basically people that you can't join a server if they're in it. My list is so full. And if they're in a server, you can't join it. So basically, all these people you, you'll never interact with again on this game if they're on your blacklist. That's basically what that is. And that's another problem I kind of have. It's kind of an overpowered system in that you can block anybody in crap, but at the same time, it's useful. You know, if, if somebody's being a jerk, which you'll run into a lot of them on this game, and basically any game in general, but I don't know if it's just this especially. Run into a lot of jerks. But, I don't know. It almost as if there could be a better system. But whatever it is, I'll try to think of something. I might put it in the description. If I can think of it when I upload the video, but... Next, I have to go into the fact that people on here, they're really... The way... Everybody has their own style of playing a game, and basically mine is avoid direct combat. Because if you can't aim really good, and if you don't use all these certain strategies that everybody else uses, they do a thing, if you hit X here, you basically kind of lay on the ground, and people use that for some reason. They use that as a strategy when they're doing one versus, you know, 1v1 combat. PvP. It's like they lay on the ground and they shoot players using that. Maybe you can miss your... It's harder to hit you, maybe. It's kind of, you know, and you can... If you're running away from a sniper, you can kind of dodge their shots. I can see how it's useful in that, but it's kind of annoying. But that's a strategy people use, and that's why one of the reasons I avoid direct combat in this game. And it's the fact that everybody has all the most powerful weapons in the game that you can get. There's weapons... I think it's the Arctic variety of weapons. There's hunting, Arctic, and there's a couple different varieties of weapons. The ones I got here... I have the most powerful weapons and stuff, but I choose not to use them, basically because they're overused, and it's like... You know, why not try something different? I use a double barrel shotgun instead of the arctic one, just because I think it's like a... With a fully armored player, it's like a three hit kill. Relatively close range with that. And with a, a arctic shotgun, I don't know. They're pretty good too, but you know... Everybody uses their own guns, everybody's individual. That's basically my preference, yeah, but my playing preference is avoid direct combat and people they really don't like that <laughs> after playing this game for so long you know I've learned that people if you what I like to do on this game is basically jump if I can get in a server it's just I'm spawning right now I'm at the church if you know where that location is I'm at the church right now that's where my spawn point is is I go here and I'm relatively close to GB which in case you don't know what that is that's called the gray base that's basically where everybody meets to fight where there's always supplies, where there's always hackers, you know. Basically instant death if you're a stranger to these people. That's another problem I have with the game is everybody has a kill on sight mentality. I did, I did just, with my, what I play this game for, like I said, is screwing around. I drive by people in a, you know, a vehicle on a snowmobile, whatever it is. There's different kinds of cars and stuff. They're not really cars, you know. Snowmobile isn't really a car. And there's a couple other things. Uh, what do you call those things? A snowcat? whatever they are you can drive by people it's like I drive by random people in one of those and they instantly shoot me on sight it's like I haven't even done anything to you I'm just driving by and they start shooting at me it's like that's one thing I don't like about this game too everybody is like they have such a kill on sight mentality nobody says are you friendly some of you even say no kill but they kill them anyway and I've done that on accident before but it's like come on one thing I don't like there, and my playing style is being a sniper, 
And oh boy, when I get killed being a sniper, people really don't like it. It's like, oh, you're a noob. That I get constantly called that. You're a noob because you snipe people. And I tell them, it doesn't matter how you get kills. A kill is a kill, people. I've told this to people before. A kill is a kill. It doesn't matter how you get them. There's no rules, people. It's a game and there's no rules. There's no rules saying you can't snipe, you know. Do what you want. If you want to shoot people in the face with a shotgun at point blank range, which is what a lot of people do, then go do it. But my that's not my style, so I snipe people and they don't they really don't like getting hit. But then eventually they they find out where I'm at somehow. I'm not sure if there's a glitch in the game where it shows my location with sound. I think it might be. But they find out where I am and then they come running towards me and then have to run away or flee using a vehicle or just leave or just run away and hide. It's like, it gets kind of old too doing that. But it's a little bit fun to see them running around, you know, and play with people that way. And next, I might have to make this a two-part video, just screwing around the second part and more review or what. I don't know. And secondly, the hackers. That's basically what burned me out, uh, coupled with the other stuff the hackers burn me out on this game it's that the hacking is so prevalent I've had times where I'm trying to kill people I'm just kinda having fun stalking these people and shooting at them occasionally and they have a hacker this happened to me there was a hacker of theirs it was a friend but he was a hacker of these people I was stalking and shooting at and sniping and they literally I heard him say in voice chat hey go get that sniper over there for me okay and the hacker he complied exactly what he said he somehow found my location he he literally he flew which it's obvious he's a hacker he was flying he flew over to me he found out where I was somehow he flew over to me and they shot me a bunch of times and I died it's like god that takes out my motivation when something like that happens these people are talking turn that junk down but yeah the hackers really in a GV at the gray base you can see how many hackers there are because there's so much supplies that's laying around that there's no way if you just play the game how it's intended there's no way you'd be able to get all that supplies it's just the hackers are so common in this game but in the end you will like I did you know, you will get your four or five bucks worth out of this game before getting burned out. I certainly did. And, you know, is it worth trying? Yeah. And one other unfortunate thing is that the developer, Wobbly Tooth Games, he d abandoned this game. And so far, he has also abandoned another game called Battle Miner Z, which I did a video on, as I mentioned before. He's abandoned those games. And, to be honest, I don't know why. They, they probably have made him thousands and thousands of dollars. But people have said to him on Twitter, well, are you going to do anything with these? He says, well, I've been working, you know, on Nintendo Switch stuff recently. That's basically what he says. So he, it's basically, that can be changed to, I've abandoned them. And people, he says, well, I'm not going to give any more free updates to these games. Seriously? People are waiting, and I've read this in a review too, people are waiting for the game to be updated so they buy it, you know. I don't know what kind of mentality the developer has. It seems like, I think it's one guy that's doing all this, that did all these games, but, you know, his mentality needs a little bit of work, whatever. Not sure what the hell he's thinking, but either way, you'll get your money's worth out of this game. I did. There was plenty of frustration, too, but there's plenty of fun to be had, although it can be cut short, and your motivation will, will, get, will slowly drain out after a while, like it did for me. Nowadays, I play Battle Miner Z all the time, but this game is only occasionally. The hackers really got to me and such. But yeah, there you go. I'm not going to show anything else in the game. People are talking about junk here. At nighttime, you can see it's so dark, like my camera. It's like you can barely see anything at nighttime. But either way, it's a game that's worth getting if you have the money. But at the same time, you know. Be aware, there's going to be hackers galore, there's going to be jerks, there's going to be kill on sight people, there's going to be people that don't like you, there's going to be people that will blacklist you all the time, it's like, be aware.